I'm learning to play the piano. One of the essentials without which I'll never make any progress is the mastery of scales and arpeggios. Scales and arpeggios are hugely important. They provide the foundation of the technique necessary to make progress beyond any intermediate level. But in themselves, however, they'd never pass the old grey whistle test and no one would ever buy a ticket to hear them. Essentially, they're the good practice processes that every musician needs to master and then to apply appropriately in order to convey the message and emotion of the music. They're adequate for simple tunes. However, a concert level performance requires a different skill set altogether. Not replacing, but in addition to the basic principles. And of course, as the man said when asked how to get to Carnegie Hall, you have to practice. So it is with project management. First order tools and techniques are absolutely vital and up to a certain level of complexity they're quite good enough to do the job and deliver against a firm known requirement. But as the complexity increases simply following the rules isn't enough. Project manager needs to be able to adapt, modify and improvise. Applying the first order tools to the specifics of the task at hand but in addition deploying a range of less prescriptive techniques and methods as and when needed. We term these second order, and whereas first order are designed to apply process rigour, the common element of second order methods is that they're targeted towards the achievement of the deliverable purpose. Put in a different way, first order is about doing things the right way, but second order is about doing the right thing, not just in theory, but in practice. Second order project management includes aspects such as attention to leadership behaviour, appropriate contracting models, managing for outcome as opposed to delivering a requirement, using systems thinking techniques and applying experiential learning. I'll talk about each of these in turn in the next set of videos.